Look, Lois, don't you have anything else to do besides tag along after me? Not at the moment. Sorry. The role of Lois Lane on television was absolutely a groundbreaking part. Now listen to me, Lois. The jungle is no place for a woman. That's what the chief tried to tell me. Noel Neal was basically the first liberated woman presented to TV audiences in the children's market. You're up to something and I'm going to find out what it is. Noel was the first woman reporter and she was just doing it and having a lot of fun. A burglar alarm. That means a story. Okay, Lois. Cheers, Coop. In 1953, uh, the second season of Superman, the first season had just begun to air, and there was uh, a question whether or not Phyllis Coates was going to return as Lois Lane. As it was, she didn't. So Whitney Ellsworth, the executive producer who really took over the reins of Superman at 53, put the call out to Noel Neal, who had been the Lois Lane in the original 1948 Superman serial, and then again in 1950. So I got this phone call, I said, Noel, I said, yes. And he said, well, this is Mr. Aylesworth from New York. You want to do Lois Lane again? And they said, oh, I'd love to. So it was just kind of that simple because they knew that I had done the series, serials with Kirk Allen. And uh, so uh, it was very quick and I just went to work. Well, I think what Noel Neal brings to season two is a Lois Lane that everyone could relate to. There was a vulnerability about Noel Neal's Lois Lane that didn't exist up until that point. I think when they brought Noel Neal in, she brought the optimism of the 1950s. She was somebody who was part of a team, and she really played that part wonderfully. When we came back to do the 53 season, Noel Neal lightened uh, uh, Lois Lane considerably. Jimmy also lightened, and uh, I got to do tons of comedy. There's a mailboat leaving for the Vulture in an hour. Are you game? I'm as game as the next guy. I only hope the next guy knows what he's doing. Oh, come on. She also brought a way of working with her fellow cast members that really clicked. It made it a full ensemble. You could tell that these people genuinely liked each other. Everybody was very nice to me. I had a little trouble at the beginning of the, uh, the first day I worked for them. I was supposed to say, Thanks, Superman. I, we're very grateful. And I just couldn't get enough oomph into it, but uh, George, bless his heart, he said, uh, can we have a 15-minute break? And the director said, sure, George. And uh, so we got the director over, and he said, you know, please, it'll be a little easy on the kid. This is her first day with a new family. So then we went back, and then I fortunately did it right for him. A Superman wouldn't bother a hijacked plane if any of his friends happened to be on it. Now, would he, Miss Lane? Yeah, gagger. What they did at, um, with our series, they would do all the first few weeks with all the heavies. And then the last two weeks, we would do all the interior stuff at the office, all the dialogue from 26 shows. So we were busy going back and forth, and you'd have to say, well, let's see, were we sad? Were we happy? Were we happy? Whatever, what did we do? Walk in, and <laughs> you know, you just, it was fast. And that's why we all wore the same wardrobe. Hello, Lois. Did you get your story on the holdup? Oh, there wasn't a holdup. Just a short circuit in the alarm. But I got something better. Oh? Story of Superman preventing a subway collision. Uh, yes, I, I heard about it. Biggest story of the week. Too bad you missed it. Hmm. I was always trying to get the story ahead of Clark Kent. I think it was just that uh, she was the only girl and had to really hop to it to beat everybody out or get a story. It's even lighter now, Toots, with all the bullets gone. Come on, Jim, let's go. I'd haul Jack off or he'd follow me and we'd both get caught. And then, of course, Superman would try to, would save us. And I would say afterward, now, how did you know? You know, I was always bugging him on and he'd say, oh, I won't tell. Clark says he can't come back. And why can't he unless, unless he's Superman? In season two, Noel Neal, with the assistance of Jimmy Olsen, went on a campaign to prove that Clark Kent and Superman were indeed the same person. 
Oh, no. He just couldn't be. Just the same. The next time Mr. Kent's around, I'd sure like to put a Geiger counter on him. Then we'd find out if he's Superman. The Golden Vulture was premier fodder for Lois once again because Clark Kent is forced to walk the plank. But Mr. Kent's down there. They tied his hands behind him. It's been less than a minute, Jimmy. He'll just have to hold his breath a little longer. And Clark Kent reemerges from the water after Superman goes down to finally save Clark Kent. I was under the plank, and Jack and I rushed over and said, there he is, he's safe, he's safe, he's alive, he's alive. He said, oh, by the way, hey, Lois, you give me a hand? So, you know, I did, and he pulled me in the water, <laughs> which I didn't expect. <laughs> what Noel doesn't know that she ended up in the water was that I refused, it was me that was supposed to go in the water. She concludes that, no, me thinking about you being Superman was completely off the track. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you've all been expecting Superman to make a personal appearance here, but Superman, now I know we'll make it. I'm sorry to be late, Miss Lane. Superman needs Lois Lane to be the hero he is. And it's because at the end of the day, when he saved the Earth, he still can't get the girl. I think Lois Lane allows us to see the greatness of Superman because she believes it herself. I think Noel, uh, with her cheerfulness and buoyancy as a newspaper woman, absolutely was an icon for young women who wanted to become reporters later and are all over the place now. And even nowadays, that they say, well, gee, when you know, I was young and saw your show, they said they went on to get into the television or the radio or publicity or newspapers. So it gives you a nice warm feeling out of no, you did something good for people. Clark Kent isn't going to have this story all to himself. <laughs>